On August 6, 2007, Utah's Crandall Canyon coal mine collapsed, killing six miners. At about the same time, seismic stations in Utah recorded a minor seismic event of magnitude 3.9. In the aftermath of the tragedy, the miners' families wanted answers, and the question was, which event came first, the seismic signals or the mine's collapse? In the days following the tragedy, the mine's owner said an earthquake had triggered the cave-in. But seismologists thought differently. The seismic data, they said, support a different interpretation, that the collapse was the seismic event. After a year of investigation, in late May, scientists at the University of Utah produced a detailed report about the event. Their conclusion? There was never any earthquake. The seismic waves came from the mine collapse itself. This week, a second report by scientists at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory and the University of California at Berkeley, who worked alongside the Utah team, will appear in science. The scientists solved the chicken or egg question using new analyses of the initial seismic data and additional data from a second tragedy. Ten days after the six miners were trapped, three rescuers searching for them were also killed when another part of the mine gave way. By that time, however, the scientists had installed additional seismic stations in the area. They used that data to precisely pin down the size of the original collapse and its duration. A misinterpretation of the initial data had suggested that the tragedy lasted four harrowing minutes. The new report, however, suggested only took a few seconds. The researchers hope the reports will not only aid the U.S. Mine Safety and Health Administration's investigation into the event, but that they also give the miners' families some answers. For more on this story, see Geotimes online. For Geotimes Magazine, I'm Carolyn Gramlin.